I have a corduroy uh, condom that I use. <laughs> and I'm wearing it now. Hi, uh, my name is Zach Galifianakis. I'm here with uh, <laughs> the lead singer of the Spin Doctors, Fiona Apple. Thanks, Fiona. For uh, We're at my house in Los Angeles. I can't believe you do this stuff in your house. Yeah, this is a... Uh, we're, oh, let me take that again. <clears throat> Hi, this is Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, this is Zach Galifianakis. Um, I'm here with the lead singer of the Spin Doctors, Fiona Apple. Uh, we're here at my mansion mm -hmm. in, um, in California. <clears throat> Thanks, Fiona, for joining me You're at my welcome. mansion. You're welcome. That I own with a helicopter pad. We met at this place called Largo, maybe? Yeah, I think we left, met there. Yeah. And I saw you on TV, and I called somebody up, and I, and I, and I, because I was really excited, because you never see comedians that you actually laugh at on mm -hmm. TV. Some people may know that you and I shot a music video in this very house for yes. one of your songs. Uh, what was it called? Not About Love? Yes. Which is a song about what? <laughs> 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 um, uh, and then we uh, and then we maintained a friendship. <laughs> I almost fell for that. <laughs> and then we maintained the friendship, right? Yes. Okay. Um, oh no no no! Because I saw your other video for um, uh, "You Bring Me Joy." Yes, I had done a uh, Nita Baker video. That's right. And you. And uh, we went to Largo to, together one night, and I said, "Would you do that?" Right. You asked me to be in, the, in your new video. Um, who is the better piano player? Uh, I don't know how to read music, but you do, right? Yeah. But you don't know how to, because I've asked you this. No, no, I'm like, but very slowly. All the music that you come up with is, what? You're not going to turn this whole thing on me. <laughs> yeah, I, the, my stuff's boring. Um, what is, what, how do you, how do you compose a song? No. <laughs> I'm not doing this interview. How, Fiona, is it, where do you, okay, where do you get your inspiration for your music? I get it from you, Zach. Um, when I write jokes, it's usually uh, I look what Dane Cook's doing, and then I just copy it. Of course you do. Of course you do. I think everybody does these days, um, don't they? Um, who is your favorite public figure? That's my problem. Well, I don't like to meet people because, especially if I really like them, because invariably I think I've done or said something stupid and then it's ruined for me and I can't even look at them because I wince it. Yeah. Fiona Apple. We're looking up Fiona Apple in MySpace. This is going to be sickening. She's going to have, there's your picture. Not very flattering, <laughs> to be honest with you. There you are again. That's a good picture. You have, you have 125,000 friends, 126,000 friends. Who's Jason? <laughs> <laughs> let's play Mad Libs, which okay. I think is a uh, fun thing to do. I haven't done this in a long time. Let's, you know, let's do one. You do one to me now, and that'll be the last thing. Okay. <clears throat> noun. Hardwood floor. Okay, plural noun. <sighs> Cold sores. Uh, noun. Adjective. Cream filled. <laughs> Plural noun. <laughs> Go ahead. What's the next one? Foreign word. Carpuzzi. That's C A R. K C A R P E I. U Z I. That's watermelon in, in Greek. Oh. Mmm. If you believe William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet to be the greatest hardwood floor story ever written, you would not find many uh, cold sores who disagree. The, the tragic <laughs> of two cream-filled teenagers who come from rival <laughs> and fall scaredly in love has captivated hammers and has been translated into more than a hundred temples, including Carpuzzi. Even those uh, <laughs> scholars agree the Romeo and Juliet ranks up there with Hamlet, Othello, and King Fox. That's pretty good. <laughs> Two tragic <laughs> cream-filled teenagers. God, that's good. Hi, I'm Zach Gaspafanaski. Please buy my DVD live at the Purple Onion um, for your enjoyment. 